Hi everyone, I'm James from Capable and today I'm going to be showing you how to improve your pages by implementing the button macros with Capable. So whether you're aiming to enhance navigation, streamline access to important resources, or simply add a touch of interactivity to your content, these button macros make it straightforward and efficient to create journeys through pages with branching paths, link to more information on external websites, and take users to a website after they've read a page, perhaps. But yeah, let's, let's crack on, but first a little sip of coffee. So what we're going to do is we're going to type slash capable button, and this will bring up this panel here. Many options, as you can see, from changing the icon through to even changing the aesthetic. And it will be shown at the top of the toolbar here, a sort of preview of what this will look like. So you could effectively have buttons which are stressing importance, maybe something that you know needs to be done immediately. You can make it a little bit more subtle, different button styles for different occasions. But we're gonna just keep it on the default here because what I'd like to do is make a button that will firstly be going to their Time Magazine copy. So this text here is what text will be shown. And again, it's shown very clearly up in the preview toolbar there. This is going to be a, a link to the page. So here you have the setting whether you want it to be a link to a website or a page. I'm going to put it to page. And I'm going to type in the page that I'm looking for and it popped up right there. So there we go. That's the Time Magazine copy. So that button's already done. And I might want to actually change the icon of this. This is kind of connoting that it's as a website, but, you know, really it's, it's more of a file. So I'm going to make the icon there a file. Now, what you might want to do is have another button beside it, which is leading people to the Time Magazine website. So... I've actually got it up here. So I can put the URL in there. And I might want to change the visual of this slightly because maybe it's, it's more of a link or it's, you know, just a, a different type of button in essence. And I might want to add some more buttons. So for instance, to more pages, let's add one for the logistics copies. There we go. And then I can, again, type this in. There we go. I'm going to keep that the same sort of aesthetic so that it's similar to the Time Magazine page button. Let's add one more in for the Google ad copy, perhaps. And there we go. So you'll also see that you can actually change the alignment so for instance, I could align these buttons to the center of the page, to the right of the page, to the left of the page. However you like, you can also do the same with the icons, change it from left to right. So there you go. And then it's as easy as that. I can then save that and it will appear on the page like so. I'll update that there. And what you'll see now is as I scroll down to the copy section is I can click on Time Magazine and it will come up with that page. I can click on logistics copy. It will come up with that page. Google ad copy, the same. Also, the URL link will work as well. It will come up with a banner saying, taking to an external page. I'm fine with that because I trust the times. So I'll go through and there you go. So there you have it. That's a way of enhancing your navigation through your pages and creating really smooth journeys for your teams to follow, linking information to external websites or even other pages that are on your site. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials on how to get the most out of Confluence and how to be utilizing Capable to really supercharge your Confluence. Thank you and see you next time.